MTV and welcome to my closet. Hey guys, so it's Rebecca Joelle, Becky, Beck, or whatever the hell you want to call me. And welcome back to my corner of the internet. So I just put all my clothes on this rack. And I'm honestly afraid that this rack is gonna break. Like, I can't move it or it will tip over. I like to express myself using fashion. So personally, in my head, I think fashion is an expression of your mood and your moods are constantly changing. So every day, my fashion sense is a little bit different. But previously, like, especially during summertime, I don't have a style because I never know what to wear. It's only summertime for like two weeks in Washington, so, I really don't have any summer clothes and I don't have a style when it comes to summer. Um, I'll first start with what I'm wearing. This is um, one of my favorite tops actually. It's a halter top and I love it because it kind of reminds me of like 2000s and 90s vibes. It has that kind of like because it's a halter top and I always tell my friends and I always tell my family I feel like I'm born in the wrong decade because when it comes to the fashion sense I love 90s and I love 2000s. I love even the 80s which is kind of like you know, like, not gonna lie, it's kind of opposites, but I love the 80s. I also, I love the 70s, like, flared jeans, bell bottoms, like, I love it all. Oh, top, and I'll put it in the right corner where I got these tops, if I can remember. This one I got from Forever 21. It's probably one of the last pieces I bought from Forever 21. I don't shop at Forever 21 anymore. They just never have size that fit me, first of all, and I'm sick of the fast fashion, and buying a clothing item, wearing it for two weeks, and then being sick of it. So I am trying to be more um, smart and when it comes sustainable, when it comes to buying clothing items. So yeah, this is the last piece I bought from Forever 21, which was probably about a year ago. I haven't shopped at Forever, One, Forever 21 since and I probably never will again. And these jeans I am wearing are from Paxson. They are mom jeans or is, yeah I think they're mom jeans these are my favorite jeans ever and they're probably my most worn piece they're probably one of my favorite stores to get jeans so let's try on some more let's try on this white pair so these are some cargo pants which I'm so excited about these are like the last pair of pants that I bought from Paxson they're just white cargo pants this is my first pair of cargo pants this is my first pair of white pants I've never had white pants or white jeans in my life so I was super excited to buy this I've only worn them twice because I haven't really gone out a lot and I haven't really had the chance to style them these are my only pair of jeans in my closet that are not high rise all my other jeans are high rise and in fact these are low rise and i got them from american eagle years ago i was in high school when i got these i actually wore these a lot in high school and i don't know why because i hate low rise so much i'm not gonna lie i probably never wear wear these ever again in my life they're, okay, but they're cute though because you see low-rise jeans are very 2000s and I love that and with like a simple top Like this just with just like a t-shirt like this. I think it's cute. It's very 2000s and I were actually once <laughs> a couple months ago I actually wore it again because I wanted to do a 2000s look and these jeans are perfect for these although I love them because they're 2000-esque I will probably never wear them unless I'm doing the 2000s look. I actually think I'll keep these jeans on and let's try out a top because I don't want to put on another pair of jeans. That's going to take forever. So let's actually try on this top. So this top is very cute. It just has um, green thread detailing on it and it also has a um, embroidered dragon on it. I got this from Paxson and like I was saying with these jeans, and maybe a pair of Vans. They are very 2000s-esque outfit. I love it so much. I'm not gonna lie. I could very like much go out right now with it in this. And people will probably cringe seeing me with those right jeans on, but I'm just like doing my thing. So yeah, I could very much put on accessories right now and it's like walk, walk out the door. I love trying on clothes again. <laughs> These are so 
cute together. <sighs> I really think I want to keep these jeans now. What are we doing? <laughs> okay, these jeans are debatable. I'm gonna put this in a pile. I might not want to get rid of these. <laughs> so I decided to change my whole outfit and what I got have on is this white top, reach back top that I got from Brandy Mobile. I think or maybe Paxson. I don't know. I'll put it up here. But yeah, I actually bought this. I did an unboxing video. It was my second video I've ever done on YouTube. So I'll leave a link in the description box so you guys can go watch that after you watch this. But yeah, um, I love this top a lot. I wore I'm not gonna lie, I wore it like two days in a row. It's so cute. However, I am a clumsy, 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 clumsy mess. And on like this like third day of wearing it. Not in a row, but like the third time I wore it. I got a stain on it, so that freaking sucks. I don't know about these pants. I was watching Simply Nessa, I think that's her name, Vanessa, here on YouTube. And I saw her try these pants on and I loved them. They have like this red detailing on the side and they have like um, pockets and I love them. However, I don't really reach for these too often. I don't really wear them in the winter time because they don't keep me warm. And it's summertime and I haven't really gone outside so I can't really say that I don't wear them. Keeping with the red and black theme, I thought I'd try on this top. It's a tube top, like one of the two tube tops that I own. I don't own a lot. I don't really like tube tops but I saw the red and black on this and then I had to get it because the red's my favorite color. However, I don't know, like if I wear this, I'm definitely gonna wear like a cardigan or something with it. I might not keep it on all the time, but I'll have it like draped around me because I don't really like this much exposure. I don't know, it just, if I if I am gonna wear it, that's how I'll style it or I'll style it with some high, high-waisted jeans. So <laughs> these aren't high-waisted. So I thought I'd just get the tube tops out of the way. This is like my second tube top. I like this one a little better because it has this little sleeve detailing on it. Um, I don't know. It's just something that I don't really reach for if it's not summertime. And like I was saying, I don't really go out right now. But um, it's cute. I like it. It's soft. I also, I think I spilled some like curry on this or something. So there's like a stain on it in the back somewhere. So I always have to like wear it with like a cardigan or something so you can't see the stain. So I actually thought that I would try on a skirt instead. This is one of the few skirts that I own. I don't really buy skirts just because I never really find them in my size. I got this one for from Trevor, Forever 21 in like the kitty section. This is like, um, I think it's like a large or a medium in the kitty section. And it's really cute. Um, it's it's a very short though, very short. I um, definitely have to wear like some tights under this and I do have tights. Yeah, it's not something I reach for a lot because I don't really like wearing skirts, especially when they're short like this. Not my style. Let's try on this gold one. I think this is the last one I've bought. And online, on the store, I thought it was a lot more yellow than gold. And when I first got it, I'm not gonna lie, I hated the color. The color actually looks a lot better on, on my phone than it does like in person. It looks completely different. It's really cute, not gonna lie. I've actually never worn this before. I think I got it from PacSun from the Kendall and Kylie collection. I think it was my first buy from the Kendall and Kylie collection. I wanted another skirt for summertime and I thought that this cinch detail on the skirt was really cute and I also really like the gold color. I thought it'd be cute with gold jewelry, but I actually don't wear gold jewelry, jewelry anymore because my nose ring or my nose stud is silver, so I don't really like mixing jewelry, so I don't wear gold anymore, but I'm thinking about taking this out permanently, and I'm thinking about making a video on it. If you guys wanna see it, let me know. No. <laughs> if you guys wanna see that video, let me know down below because um, I think it's something I wanna do, but I'm not sure yet. But yeah, let's try on a different top. I wanna get out of this top. I love the style of this top. My mom used to wear a lot of tops like this when she was around my age, actually. Um, so it reminded me a lot of her. It's red, which is my favorite color. I also really love cobalt. I'm not gonna try it on, especially since I have it on on my unboxing video. So if you guys wanna see me wearing this, go to my unboxing video, watch it. 
like it, comment down below, subscribe, put on that notification bell. I live in Washington, so I own a tremendous amount of outerwear and I got this jacket from one of those like big department stores. I think it was Burlington Coat Factory, I think. I wanted like a, a coat, a like cropped coat for um for winter time. Like that was heavy duty. I ended up getting this one from Tommy Hilfiger. It's really cute. It's uh, one of those like teddy bear coats. Um, it's really cute. It's not cropped like I wanted it to be. It's actually pretty big on me, but it's really cute. I actually wear this a lot during the winter time. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this. So this is the dress. Um, it still has the tags on, like I was saying, because I haven't worn it yet. It's cute. I'm just like a little bummed because it, it isn't an extra small, but it's still a little too big. I'm going to see... I can't, it stops, it doesn't really let me cinch it in anymore. So, and I got this from Target, so you guys know. Um, it's cute, it's a little big, I think I actually kind of like how it's a little too big, it's kind of like draping off of me. I really like these, um, these sleeves. I'm not a huge fan of floral. I feel like I would feel bad if I got rid of it because my mom got it for me. Like, she, I didn't ask her to, she just bought it for me when, when she was out one day, which is really nice of her. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, Ma. Shout out to my Ma. Her channel is linked on my homepage if you guys want to click and go watch some food videos. My Ma is a great chef. I just realized my mare is a little dirty, so I'm sorry about that. But here is the dress. It, it's black, long sleeve. It's knit, ribbed, very fitted, has this zipper detailing. I actually kind of like it when it's zipped up all the way. But yeah, I actually, I have very mixed feelings about this dress. I love this dress. I think it's really cute. Like when I'm looking at it from the rack, I'm like never going to wear this dress, pass it over. But when I put it on, it's really cute. However, why would you make a dress with sleeves? Like I get it, but it's summertime. Why would you, why would you, like, you're just gonna get sweaty, which I do sometimes. I don't know. When it's like a cool day and it's. I am just trying to convince myself that I will eventually wear all of these pieces. That's what's happening in my brain right now. Let's try on these skinny jeans. Why don't we? And let's try on a top too because uh, we're gonna need a top because this is not that kind of channel. This top, it's red. One of my only red tops besides the other top, so yeah, let's try this on. So this is my next outfit. This is one of my favorite tops ever. I love it. I got it from Garage. It's red. It has this zipper detailing, like I said before. And also it has a collar, which I love. It rem I don't know why, but this ring at the end of the zipper and the fact that it's red and has collar reminds me a lot of like the 70s and Maybe you might see someone walking around in the 70s in this, but it's also it reminds me a lot of like the 90s. And I also got these jeans. I think I got them from Paxson. I got them because I wanted a pair of skinny jeans that were darker because all my skinny jeans are lighter. But um, I started wearing more skinny jeans that are like completely like whole like this, like without rips because I was in a phase where I love skinny jeans with rips in them. And then I was like, I'm so sick of this. So, yeah, I love these. So, <coughs> I'm going to die first. Oof. So, I have mixed feelings about this top as well. I got this a couple years ago. I saw a picture of Madison Pettis wear it on her Snapchat, and I really loved it. So, I got it. I think it's from Hollister. I'm not super sure on that. But it's really cute. I've worn it a couple times here and there. Um, it's not like a favorite of mine though. Um, I also don't like, like, this is not really my style anymore, this huge bare section of my body. <laughs> but um, it's cute. It's actually pink. Can't really tell on camera because of the exposure. Let me see if I can bring down the exposure a little bit so you can see. Yeah, I see it's, it's pink. It's really cute. I like it. So here is this outfit this top i absolutely love i have a lot of long sleeve tops well i actually don't have a lot of tops but out of m most of my tops the majority of them are long sleeves because 
like I said before, I do live in Washington. Here it is 95% rain, cloud, and wind. So long sleeve is what I wear. Uh, this is a cute top. Uh, I love it. Um, I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, but let's move into these jeans. <laughs> these jeans though, these two-tone jeans. You got black, you got dark blue. Um, booty, you get black and you got dark blue. <laughs> these are cute jeans. These are exactly like my first pair of jeans I tried on actually. That damn crow. I'm gonna close my window. But yeah, um, <laughs> I got these jeans from PacSun. They're very cute. They're exactly similar to the first pair of jeans I got. I bought those pair of jeans and I was like, they are so cute. I love them so much. So then I went back and I bought these ones. This is this is a special piece of outfit. It's a overall skirt suspender kind of action happening here. Has a little slit, got a little bit of leg action there. Very very cute. I got this from Forever 21. However, I'm telling you right now, this, this is the reason why I stopped shopping at Forever 21. I bought this along with a white fuzzy top because I saw the model wearing it in the picture and I was like, that is so adorable. That looks so cute. I bought the exact same outfit. I even went on Forever 21 bought this same jewelry. I was like, this is going to be a look. This is going to be all over my Instagram. It's going to be so cute. And then I got it. And the top I wore for a couple weeks and then it was trash. Um, it went in the wash and it just, it ruined it. So I threw it away because I wouldn't even give it to someone because that's how bad it turned. So yeah, I just had too many bad experiences with Forever 21. I just can't shop there anymore. So yeah. Um, but yeah, these are cute. I have never worn these and it's because they are too long and it looks so unflattering and it doesn't fit my waist. If I could tailor and if I could sew, I would actually sew, sew them so like they fit, but I don't know how to do that, nor do I want to take the time to learn how to do that. Actually, I I kind of do because I kind of want to design clothes and kind of want to make clothes. That's kind of what I want to do, but yeah. So I got this. Sleeves don't fit, just way too big. So I have this dress here. This is my absolute favorite dress. It is yellow. I Yellow is actually one of my least favorite colors. I like mustard yellow and um, c colors like that but bright yellow is like one of my least favorite colors however it is like one of the best looking colors on brown skin so there's that i actually got this dress for my graduation this is what i wore to my high school graduation i love this dress it's beautiful i got it from h and m it's a wrap dress i will definitely be keeping this dress and i have this little <laughs> this is like a i don't know this is a summer dress obviously but i feel like you can wear it like in the fall I and mean, in the springtime and I have this little hat <laughs> this little this little springtime hat I got this because I thought I was gonna be a fashionista and I was like hats hats yes I need hats however I have curly hair and if you try putting a hat on a curly hair your hair will just like reject it just like that <laughs> so this is the next outfit I put my hair up because it was it was too hot in this room. Okay, so this is a nice outfit. It's just a velvet bodysuit. Um, it's really soft. I really love it. And these tan shorts. I got. I think I got these from Forever Twenty One, and I got this from. I don't know. I don't know. I'll put it. I'll put it up here. I think I got them both from Forever Twenty One. But yeah, these are cute. I love these shorts. They're like. They're not really. They're not structured. They're just like. I don't know. Loose shorts. I guess. Like, see, they're loose. Um, if I need to um, strain something or iron something, is I'll take my straining iron and I'll just... You're welcome. Free. I give you guys that tip for free. As for this bodysuit, um, it's cute. However, they... It was, like, the... The straps, like I said before, were too big. So I had to tie them in the back, so they kind of look funny. And for that reason, whenever I wear this top, I always wear a cardigan. So let's show you a cardigan. This is actually a kimono. Um, this is so cute. One of my favorite kimonos that I have. Actually, my only kimono that I have. But yeah, this is really cute. I also put 
where I got it up in the corner, but who? Um, I'm not gonna lie, this outfit does not go together whatsoever, but I kind of ran out of tops to show you guys, so um, that would go with this skirt. But this skirt is really cute. It's orange and black, and it has flower detailing on it. It's a wrap skirt, so it's a little weird. You have to, um, there's a hole on the belt, and you have to loop it through to, to get it to tie. But it's a really cute skirt. It has, like, this um, kind of ruffling detail that goes um, up the leg right up here i don't know if you can really see it but yeah it's a uh, really cute i got it from garage like i said before and i got this shirt from paxson um it has like the um the eyes with the eyebrows and it says i'll meet you in new york so this is the next outfit um love this top no complaints about this top got it from asos i believe but these pants these pants, don't get me started on these pants. I got these pants because it was my birthday. I was like, I want to get me a little something, something, something cute to wear out. And I was like, these pants. I tried them on. I definitely tried them on at Forever 21. These are Forever 21 pants. Another reason why I <sighs> cut them out of my life. But yeah, they were so cute. I tried them at the store and they were big they it's supposed to be that way it's supposed to flare out at the bottom but like they were too long that's what i'm saying and they were too long but i was like it's fine i'll wear a pair of heels they won't touch the ground try on the tallest pair of heels i have which not gonna lie at the time they were pretty tall they were like tall heels still was not off the ground they were just way too long i told myself i'd get them tailored my mom was like yeah you can definitely get them tailored i loved these pants so much i still do love them but they are too long and after three years of saying that i'm gonna get them tailored i think it's it's good to say that i'm not gonna get them tailored so this is currently the state of my room it is a hot freaking mess, so I'm gonna go clean.